welcome to the Relationship Reflections Podcast. I'm Lexi Rosado, and today I'm accompanied by two lovely guests. Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm 14. I'm Marley. I've been here before. She's been here before. Back at it again, baby. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day! Yay! Happy Valentine's Day! Oh my goodness. Ooh. Glad you get to spend it with us. Glad you t- we get to be your Valentine. Glad you girls get to be my Valentine. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to shout out the new set. Yeah, this is awesome. Loving with Lexi. <laughs> um, how did you feel? Today was the first day you saw it. Oh my gosh, it just, it totally screams Lex. It is so her. Mm-hmm. I was like, yep, I'm Lex. <laughs> oh my and if you didn't know, this is Lexi's Instagram handle. That's so, right. Promotion. Go follow, <laughs> Go follow me on Instagram. We're working on it. Okay. Valentine's Day, what people don't really know is how did it originate? Right. It's like, I remember someone in school told me not to celebrate it because some guy put his stuff on a heart, like, mm. shipped it in a box. And then I read and I was like... Like his heart. Yeah. Like, like he, like he's like, out of his chest. Okay. Like, but yeah, now that I see it, now that I say as an adult, clearly he couldn't ship his own heart. He was dead. <laughs> 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 but okay this is what it says valentine's day also called saint valentine's day or the feast of saint valentine is celebrated annually on february 14th it originated as a christian feast day honoring one or two early christian martyrs named saint valentine and through later folk traditions has become a significant cultural religious and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world this is out of our lovely source, Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. There are a number of martyrdom stories associated with various Valentines connected to February 14th, including an account in the imprisonment of St. Valentine of, Ro- of Rome for ministering to Christians persecuted under Roman Empire. Didn't know that. According to a tradition, St. Valentine restored sight to the blind daughter of his jailer. Wow. That's super interesting. Numerous later additions to the legend have better related it to the theme of love. An 18th century embellishment to legend claims that he wrote to the jailer's daughter a letter signed Your Valentine as a farewell before his execution. Mm. So another additional uh, post says that St. Valentine performed weddings for Christian soldiers who were forbidden to marry. So St. Valentine might have written some notes Mm -hmm. to the daughter writing Your Valentine and he might have married people. I don't know. And he might have restored her eyesight. Oh, yeah. And then he might have held over. You're right. The most important thing. <laughs> did a miracle. The most, <laughs> in, like, yeah. The most cool sounding one. That's the most cool sounding one to you? Yeah. I, I think, think the so. marrying people that were forbidden sounds cool to me. Yeah. What about you, Em? Um, sounds like a pretty wicked love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's in jail. I heard. I think I heard that. I've always heard of St. Valentine, but I did hear that like he got shot by Cupid and then he went on the spree of just falling in love with everybody, like every female that he saw. Hmm. That's, like that's what I heard. Didn't you share that you don't like the philosophy of Cupid? I don't. I hate. <laughs> I, okay, I won't say hate because it's mean. I just strongly sense. dislike mm-hmm. the idea of Cupid because I mean like who came up with that? Who was sitting in their room one day and they were like, I know what I'll do today. I would create this being, this supposedly full grown man to be as small as a baby, wearing a diaper and flying in public and potentially killing people when he stabs them with these heart shaped arrows and call it love. And yeah, it's so weird. Who, who is he to like decide who loves who? Who right. is he? If you know the history of Cupid, put it in the comments. Please below. let us know. Yeah, <laughs> Give me some I thoughts. will read those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we think Valentine's Day is dumb? Or I really enjoy the candy. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy candy. I have always liked Valentine's Day personally because it's really close to my birthday. So, happy yeah, birthday. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Um, so every year for Valentine's Day, my, like, girlfriends would come over for the, like, Valentine's Day dance at our school, and we'd, like, get ready together and then have a sleepover afterwards. So, like, it's, like, a really fun memory for me, yeah. So you have a lot of positive associations. Yeah, because it was usually, like, my birthday party. Oh, that's so fun. Mm-hmm. I think about, like, the ho- the Valentine's Day dances when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Lexi, what do you think? What do I think about Valentine's Day? Um, 
I think it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no surprise. I think every day should be Valentine's Day. And what I mean by that is if you love people, you just celebrate them. You get them gifts just because. Hmm. Um, I bought myself flowers a couple weeks ago. You know, like, I don't know. I think the food gets double priced. I think mm. <laughs> the flowers get tripled price. <laughs> Miss Economics over here. <laughs> According uh, to the spreadsheet. Course, yes! Yes! It gets this Inflation. much Inflation. No. I think it's dumb. That's funny. <laughs> you had asked um, when we were preparing for this, like, what are my thoughts on Galentine's? Yeah. And I was like, I didn't even know Galentine's was a thing. <laughs> what did you think it was? When you said it, I thought it was marketing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, when a girl has no fella, you go to a Galentine's Day event. I mean, or, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Oh. It's like with your friends. That's but I didn't know that was like a thing. Yeah. yeah. I went one to like a brunch <laughs> and I volunteered my time because my friend asked me to help for brunch and it was for girls and so it was called a Galentine, but I didn't know. She's been to a Galentine's Day. So I've been to a Galentine's Day celebration. I just didn't know a Galentine. I didn't even know Galentine was like a real. She doing things yeah. she don't even know what it means. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. a real. I mean, I, I feel like it's a real holiday. Probably, um, maybe not the lonely uh, would say that. officially, but I think <laughs> people probably, I think people do celebrate on Galentine's Day. So I think that makes it legit. One year for Valentine's, neither my friend Gabby and I, neither of us had a Valentine. So I bought her like a little teddy bear and like some candy. It was her Valentine. Oh, that's oh, cute. That's actually a perfect transition. She told her friends that I was um, some guy named Emil. <laughs> She lied. What grade were you guys in? Like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were like 12. Wow. She was like, it's my boyfriend. He lives in Germany. Germany? Wow. Like, what? Okay. Best and worst Valentine's Day. Marley. Okay. Um, first, best or worst? Um, I'll do worst first because I feel like that story is shorter. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, like I said, my birthday and Valentine's Day are really close together. Um, and I think this particular year was in high school. Um, the Valentine's Day dance was on the 7th. So it was like a week before Valentine's Day and just a couple days before my birthday. And um, my boyfriend and I went together. And after the dance, he had drove me home and broke up with me in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't the day, you know, but like that whole season. Yeah, and it was right before my birthday. It was birthday crummy. Yeah, but I was like, you know, if you're gonna do it at any time, like everything's lined up, like probably the best time, but I remember, right? Yeah, see, that was, I was thinking that was I love that you did it from a positive <laughs> lens. Of course right. you did. And if you'd waited later, it would've been like after my birthday or like after Valentine's Day, then we did all this No, he's a jerk. Stuff. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but um, then like the actual day of Valentine's Day that year, I remember just sitting with like a friend or two in Burger King, like, during the day and my friend was like hey where is like so and so like this is he working like why aren't you guys hanging out and i'm like because we broke up like i wouldn't be hanging out with you guys on that burger king on valentine's day oh. if we were still together so yeah that was probably the worst one but that's okay I, I wonder what percentage of people have gotten broken up on valentine's day right it's probably a large percentage and probably my worst Valentine's Day I was broken up with. Donald, you know who you are. <laughs> Dropping names. Sixth grade, you were my first boyfriend. <laughs> so heartbreaking. You were my first boyfriend and I was in sixth grade. What grade are you in? Eighth. You're in eighth, okay. Sixth grade was my first boyfriend. Name was Donald. He used to walk me to him from basketball practice, and I thought we were so cool. I had my first kiss with Donald in sixth grade. Y'all are getting the juicy. <laughs> but um, I remember on Valentine's Day, 
I just, we live on the same block, you guys. I remember like calling him with my Virgin mobile phone <laughs> for the minutes. <laughs> And he ate the chocolates that he bought us on the phone and told me he was eating them while on the phone. He, he was like, I'm eating them now. And I don't remember exactly the breakup went, but the, get this, get this. Years later, when Facebook was just, I've, at least to me, I felt like Facebook was just coming out because MySpace was the thing. Mm -hmm. um, one of the first messages I got was from Donald, like on Messenger. And he had sent a, pr a private message and was like, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but we dated when we were like in middle school <laughs> and I really want to apologize to Aww. you for how I broke up with you. I remember being so mean. I, I really, it looks like you're doing really well. I think I responded like, oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I'm glad I remember because now it's on here. And Donald, I would love it if you would want to come on the show. <laughs> you can have your wife, kids. I don't even know who you are, where you're at. If you don't even know me anymore. <laughs> but if you still follow me on Facebook and you see this video, that would be hilarious to do an interview because I wonder if he would remember the details. You should Maybe. drop his ad in the corner. I don't know. I don't even know his last name. I tried looking through all my friends and like, I don't even know his last name anymore. And if you, I have, never mind. I'm like, if you search Donald, a ton of Donalds will come up. Who knows? That's true. So that's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> do you have one up? Oh, okay. <laughs> so when I was in kindergarten, I got married to this kid. His name was Joe. <laughs> And then fast forward, we dated throughout after fifth, marriage to fifth grade. Yes, after marriage. I mean, that's... Um, and actually, he got me like this ring, and I still have it somewhere from like oh, wow. Crossroads Village or something like a field trip we took. He got me this little like ring, and it was super cute. And then he was like, "Great, you marry me?" And we were all good. Anyway, Aww, that's cute. on Valentine's Day in fifth grade, it was when we were like fifth graders. Was well, the first year that you were allowed to buy little Valentines that would be delivered to your class. Like the person that you got, they were like a dollar each, and every girl was like, "I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one." And I was like, "Joe's obviously gonna get me one." So it comes time, and they're coming in, they're handing them out, and none of them go over to my desk. And Missy goes, thanks, Joe. And I was like, oh, I cried. Wow. So Joe got um, someone else a gift. Yeah. A and Valentine. You, and you thought you were married. Wow. Yeah. I was like, I want the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I took his desk pet, and wow. I never told him. No, oh. go, please. So Joe, if you're watching, I took your desk pet, the little cat. <laughs> That was 500 points, I'm sorry. Who would have thought? Yes. This would be a confession. So this is so fun. It's like the red table talking. So I know. So oh, that's cute. The pink sofa. I okay. like that. Okay. Hashtag the pink sofa. Yeah. What else were we talking about the pink sofa? Best. Best, yeah. My husband, like before we were married. We had dated and broken up at this point and I was doing a year of singleness. He had asked me out again and I was like, well, no, because I'm doing singleness. So like, you're, oh well. And he's like, oh, okay, shoot. Like, I guess I'll just wait. And I was like, okay. Um, I was like, yeah, we can keep getting to know each other and like hang out and like be friends for like, see if this goes anywhere. But I was really struggling with that because um, I didn't want to, like go over the boundary of like feeling like we were dating. So long story short, whenever we would like go on like a date like activity, like if we went to a movie together or like went out to eat together, I'd be like, okay, like that was fun, but we should like back up a little bit. Like that was like a date. Like we're not dating. So <laughs> Marley was pushing him off. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and and I would get mad, and we would have these conversations, and he'd be like, "Oh, it's fine." Yeah, anyway, so for Valentine's Day, long story short, he came over to my house and brought me Chick Fil A and flowers, and he was like, "Happy birthday, Happy Valentine's Day." We sat and ate lunch together, and it was really, really sweet. Um, but afterwards, I was really mad at him because I was like, "Why did you bring me flowers? Like, we're not dating. we're not dating. You can't bring me flowers on Valentine's Day. We're not dating." And he was like, "All right, fine. I'll never bring you flowers again." <laughs> but he did. He does still get me flowers, so it's okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then after that, I was like, "Okay, don't talk to me for a week." He was going home to Wisconsin. Um, to visit family and I was like, alright, just don't talk to me while you're in Wisconsin and when you get back we can like figure this out. Um, just cause that was like, I thought that was a good way to handle things. 
<laughs> it, was, it wasn't bad, it, but it was just funny thinking back, like how much that push and pull. Yeah. Well, when you're dating and in the Christian world and you're trying to do the right thing, mm-hmm. I think that's a part of it. There is a, a push and pull, like you know? Trying to hold fast to the boundaries that you mm-hmm. are putting in place. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and I think long, like overall, obviously it worked out. Like we're married now. So like, yeah. we like, were able to like establish a good foundation through that season of like being friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, not getting too like romantic with it and letting that kind of like cloud things um until we were ready to like date again but yeah that's that memory just stands out to me a lot that valentine's day the photos marley is so happy in them you look so happy in it so you would never know that she was going to get if she was smiling with her little (laughs) gift well in the flowers there was like a little like styrofoam heart and i'm like what are you doing like you can't give me this when we're not dating it came with the flowers marley (laughs) i was so mad my best valentine's day was i was a tv reporter i had just moved to michigan from chicago and the first year when you're like in as a TV reporter in a new place, you work a lot of the holidays. But Valentine's is a day that is kind of low on the totem pole of priorities. So we like the new reporters work the Christmas and the Thanksgiving and all those things. So it was a day that myself and this other girl had off. <laughs> we were both newer reporters. Um, her name was Haley. So we take a look at the pictures of Haley. And I just really got along with Haley. Like, she was so nice. She was super kind. We talked about dating and things of that nature. We were both Christians. But I remember she was like, I'm throwing a Valentine's Day get-together at my house. And it was the first time I showed up to, like, a Valentine's Day get-together that was just super cute. There was little dessert. She had a cake. I was like, did you have this cake custom made? Like, it was just so cute. And if you see the pictures, I'm wearing a Christmas ho, ho, ho (laughs) sweater because that is how on holiday, on Valentine's Day, (laughs) I'm showing my true colors. Um, Well, first off, it says ho, ho, ho. And then it's sequence. You push it down. It says, no, no, no. So that's the sweater. But I remember all the girls were like, Oh my goodness, when I get married, when I get married, a lot of them had dreams of getting married. And they were talking about the, their dream weddings and the color schemes and their Pinterest boards. And I was like, oh, I don't have any of that. And then I was like, as they were watching wedding, they started watching wedding proposal videos, I was like, have you ever seen wedding proposal fails? And they were like, no way. I was like, yeah, there's a whole YouTube, you can watch all the YouTube videos about proposal fails. So I remember I had these girls watching proposal fails. <laughs> and I was laughing so hard, but it was also the first time that they were like, really? Like, why do, are you, you seem so anti-love. And it was, yes, it was, I was so cynical. And I didn't realize it at the time. So how many years has it been now? Like, that was like, we're coming up almost seven years ago. Like that, so that was a long time ago, but I just remember it was a moment Seven. Seven is a number today, huh? (laughs) But no, I think that it was just this moment where I had a lot of fun with girls, but I think it really planted the seed of like, maybe it was this aha moment where I was like, huh, I'm very anti-love, very cynical about love. And these girls, their La La Land dream world seems so nice. Like, maybe I should consider it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. But it was so fun. It was like just a really sweet Valentine's Day. And it's something I I thought about doing Valentine's Day get-togethers because I liked what, they, what she did. What advice would you give to someone who is single and also to couples on Valentine's Day? Mmm. Adam, you want to go first? To single people? Find good friends before you find a mate. I love that. If you will. Just because I feel like, personally, like in the very many relationships that I've been in, um, having a friend to like support me and to like have like a sounding board to be like, is this okay? Is this normal? Um, is really helpful for me. And then to mm-hmm. people in a relationship, same thing. Just have good friends. Like, surround yourself with good friends. Yeah. And remember that more doesn't always mean better. I feel like... Don't put a lot of pressure on the day. Like... Mm, that's a good one. 
um, for people who are single or in a cup in a couple in a relationship <laughs> um, like it's just a day like we were saying like treat every day like Valentine's Day like just because this is like a recognized holiday for you know whatever reason St. Valentine way back in the day started um, nowadays it's this huge thing about love and like there's all this pressure to like get a valentine to like have great plans to like do something big and romantic to spend a bunch of money but like if you're with someone that you care about whether that's a friend or significant other like just enjoy yourself just have fun my advice was at the beginning i think that i think you know what it is i think that love should just be exp there's so many ways to express love and so if this is the day that you want to showcase your love in an extravagant way, that's so great. But I think mm -hmm. that's interesting. So I think maybe for couples, giving people grace, like, yeah. hey, like this isn't the only day to showcase your love. There's other ways to showcase love or days. And so maybe mm -hmm. like be kind to your partner. I think that's one maybe. And then, which is funny because I'm a very extravagant person in general, but I, I, yeah, That's I just funny. think it's kind of a trap in these days. And then, cause I've, I've had dates where I've seen partners like really try their best to do everything extravagant and then things naturally go wrong because that's just a part of it. Like the reservation was off or this didn't work or whatever. And I just, yeah. So I would say be easy to your partner mm -hmm. because if there's high pressure, high communication maybe if yeah. you're dating. So what are your, both of your expectations? Yeah about this day. Is this gonna be a day that we're gonna do something together? But don't like just hope and expect that something extravagant mm -hmm. is gonna happen. Like communicate. So maybe that's my best for couples. And single people, it's just like any other day. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of hanging out with friends though. Check mm -hmm. in on your friends. Yeah. Um, Especially those that are single as well. Yeah, those that are single as well. Or I was thinking, I had a cousin who lost a loved one. Mm. And I remember the following year after he, her boyfriend had passed, how special it felt to just give her gifts and feed and take her out to eat. And we scheduled a massage for mm. her, like all these things. And so maybe if you are single, how can you use your time to like serve people that, yeah, that, that also are, uh, are so sing also are single. So okay. that's what advice I think I would give. Any last minute thoughts? I think came out with the uh, heart shaped chicken nuggets this year. So not saying um, that I need them, <laughs> but it'd be appreciated. This is communication. <laughs> And thanks so much for joining us for the Relationship Reflections Podcast. I'm loving with Lexi. Great.